Good evening and welcome to the 2017 Charles Hurst Golfing Invitational. Well, as you can see, the day started with a bit of a registration and, uh, well, it's all the help we've got here. It's Martin Shepard looking just a little bit perturbed. Uh, I know Martin told me he'd ordered a couple of caddies off a very, very specialised website and uh, I don't think they've turned up or they might be outside. Well, they won't be outside because it's pretty cold out there. Well, this Aaron just uh, directing, this is Derek Locker to just... Take a ball, take a ball, maybe take two. Yeah, maybe take two, take two, take. Well, he's obviously planning on losing a few balls today, and I don't, I should do it for the first hole, but we'll go for the first tee. Anthony Kieran. Now, oh, Anthony, I've got here my notes. Think he likes to move the ball left to right, so keep your eye on this fella. Good setup, everything perfect. Until he moves, of course, and that's well, oh dear, oh dear, that could be in trouble. Right. He's taking out some of the local wildlife, but I don't think it's damaged. No, back up the tree and back on the boat. And uh, so, well, he's back in. This is a reload. Now that's one's away. That's the one we're going to be in play up the path there. Very, very straight and very, very bouncy. Now, look at this. William and this, just like that. Shove it along, hold the end. Just like that. Not quite certain what this has got to do with golf, but it looks fantastic. Look at that. Obviously, something he's learned from Sinu. Somebody that doesn't play golf, maybe, but there's boys in the background there. Oh, there's all sorts of things going on here. Not certain if this is uh, legal or not, but uh, well, it's, it's just like that. That's felt. I think he's actually going to play like that. But, oh, we've got Billy the photographer. Now, Billy's not quite got the idea. You've got to put your eye behind the lens. Oh, sorry. Now, Andrew Lonely speaking to himself. I think he's done many times before. Just rolling them in there. Well, when I say in, rolling them there. Just rolling them, yeah, he's rolling them, we just need the in bit. I mean, Niall Gallagher, let's take it away, Niall. Oh dear, he's underneath that one, he's underneath that one, it's very, very high. Oh, I think we've lost that one. No, no, we're back in play. Yeah, here in T-Video, we've got the technology, even for a shot like that, Niall, but, uh, well, take it over here. Well, it's all, that's where the money is made. This is where you make the money. It's all about putting, never mind the driving or the hand. It's all about the putting, your driver showing your putt for... Well, you've got to give up to the hole, just one, two, three, we flick back, get that one back there, and then we'll start again. There's three balls there, but I don't think he's ever touched the other two. No, it's, uh, let's see, but this time, now he knows the pace, and expect this one to go in, or at least pass. Yeah, he's got the pace this time, that's passed the, the well, not really learning an awful lot there, Tom, Tom there, but he's back, and yeah, those two other two balls, I'm not quite certain what they're doing there, but uh, no, they're just not necessary. Well, Simon Mann, now, I don't know where he plays his golf, but he's practising that little, that little pathway to golf shot, yeah, the pathway to golf, Tara McAdam, or maybe it's a cycle path, one of the two. Now back to Tom, yeah, persevering with that one ball, two ball, keeping it company, yeah. Just, um, it's, the, the greens are getting no faster, but anyway, we'll move over to the first tee, and this is Andrew Lonely, and we've seen Andrew already, now he's got some company, and now he, watch this, folks, this is how you do it. You'll get all that weight right behind this one, and you'll be looking to play that left to right dog leg, and expect this, but left to right flight, and uh, flying partner's very expected. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's uh, very straight and uh, yeah, very deep. I'm talking about the bunker, uh, the divots, you see the lovely bit of tapping down there. Just hope nobody falls in. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do here, but uh, our Colm Castle is, uh, well, he's just cleaning it off. It doesn't look too happy, it doesn't look too sad, but uh, well, we do have the technology here, and yes, uh, we've got these boys organised. They'll be following him around all day. Just, oh dear, no, that's a nice wee sight. A man when he's bored. Looks a wee bit like Peter Dixon. Now, I know Peter's going on holiday next week, and he's, well, I know he's going on holiday, and he's just wondering what the beach is going to be, and, uh, well, I do. I think he's going up to Port Rush, and that's going to be very, very nippy right about the bits. If, uh, you don't want to be nippy, but, oh, that's the one, yeah. I've just imagined him with that. Uh, that's going to live with me for quite a while, but never mind. Dear, oh, dear. Oh, we've got here. Well, I should say what's going on here. Yeah. These are Boys have let themselves go there, they certainly have let themselves go, but they're, they're fully rhythm, but never mind, we'll leave them there, we're back on the first team with the one and only John Henry, a man, uh, obviously, well, we've got our duff track, uh, sorry, our shot track around here, this is where we're predicting the ball should go, well, we know that's where it should go, but you never know with this fella, he's got a game on, he's obviously got dressed in the dark, hope the wife's not going out today, she's going to be very cold because he's wearing her jumper, but oh no, that one over there, yeah, that one there, and he's got, uh, well, he tells me he got a two out of that, Two points that is, but we'll leave him there. That looks like Michael Gillen. Now watch this fella just practicing his back, his backspin. Now this fella can generate a hell of a backspin, as was demonstrated there. Brian Casey, a man that is just full of rhythm. Just to get warmed up there, yes. Persevering with that jumper, one size fits no one. But never mind. There's uh, back in play now. Keep right this fella.
cheeky wee number there by Brian, but we'll get over to Patrick Dobbin. Look at that, just oh, fantastic. Just look at the movement there, look at the movement. Yes. You just had that shirt sprayed on this morning, especially. There's a low one, the high one, the wiggly one above the head. One of the strongest players. Look at that one club above the head. It's incredible. Oh, did he notice the cameras? I do think he did, but we'll get over to the pre tournament favourite, Paul Monaghan, the only man in the field with a caddy. When you've got a caddy, you know the fella can play. play. Well, I was taking the uh, man out there, the photographer, and. Uh, I'd be very, very, oh, that's where it might have hit you, but too small a target, but never mind. Scott Goldblatt here, our host today now, Scott, rolling this one up ever so close, and uh, oh, he can't believe it. He was on his way to pick it out, unfortunately, you can only pick it out once it goes in, so that's a pre-pick-up, pick-out, should I say, and, uh, well, we're back to Paul, it stays there. Caddy, they're giving him a distance, yeah, you're, uh, you're about 190 to the pin, yeah, I would say, 190, maybe one, 187 he's given him, yeah, he's got 187, he's dialed in now, he's dialed in, he's 187 to the flag, not quite certain where that went, 186, 185, 184, 183, 182, he's got 180 to the flag now, and uh, carry down there again, not bothering with, his, with the uh, distance, Ooh, well, who's got here, he's somebody looking for a distance, I'm looking for something, Timothy Sheehan, I thought he was going for a distance, but no, no, He's uh, just keeping his eye on his friends up at the spa and, uh, well, the big fella there, packing quite a six-pack bullet. And he uh, seems happy now and very sad to be out here leaving them alone. Back to Paul, now he's got 168. What we've got to do now, yes, moving 165. Now he's in his range now. That's going to be one of where his playing partners are. Yeah, they've gone for a late breakfast. No, no, they're, they're there. They're heading off into the woods to hide. Now, then Michael Gillen, now, Michael, you've seen him practicing. Let's have a wee look. Now he's a very dangerous player, almost taken out his play part of there, Ernest Tutton and uh, nearly nothing to Tutton there, but uh, never mind, we'll go over here and this looks like a little bit of Simon Botham here, Ro Botham, Ross Botham. Yes, only one of them we're going to call him Simon. Well look at that, absolutely poetry in motion, poetry in motion, classic stuff here until he uh, hits it of course and uh, almost taken out his bag and he's playing part of there. He obviously knew more than we do, he's pretty safe, middle of the fairway, you're safe with this fella. And he's off, oh somebody's spooked him, he's been spooked, oh he's been spooked big time, he's been spooked. The caddies have come all the way up, oh dear me, well he's spooked now, they catch up with him. Very hairy fellas there, and uh, well, he seems to be, look at the pace, absolutely pacey, just too much pace, John Ahern here, oh, he loves his putter, this fella, really used to love it now, give it a wee booting there, just uh, waking it up, but we'll go back on the tee here at the, I think it's the 7th, might be the 7th, Connor Devlin here, looks a good setup with the bottom sticking out there, not quite who top of that, but uh, I'll get your money back, and uh, well, I know, 15 of those will be up in the green, can pick up no great pick up, but the TP specs it's definitely his moves off, but we'll leave him. There we go. But Steve Kelly. Stephen crouched over the D lofting himself, chipping that one up. That could be very, very close, very close to where he hit it from. Yeah, that's uh, if that's got anything to do with anything, that's where he was aiming, but I don't think that had much to do with that shot. Well, here the one and only the one and only the one and only Mr. Henry now. Look at that multitasking, but this is where he just comes into his own. Beer bottle in one hand, go left handed, putting it down there. Is it in? Is it in? Is it in? You better believe it. Drops it in there, the longest putt he's ever held. That was for a seven. Imagine if it was for a four. Oh, the shot would be off. He'd be running around. He'd be packs it in there. Where's he heading? I hear he has. You know, he's heading to a close shop to buy another jumper, I would imagine, but no, no. He's down there, all the way down, back up in one. Yeah, great flexibility. And this is how you do it. Coors light. Yeah, obviously colour blind as well. Never mind, we'll leave John there. We'll move swiftly on to Ricky Simpson. Settling into bunker in a Ricky. Obviously feeling the sand between his toes now. This is lying very nicely. Look at that, just like that. Just put it back here. Oh, a wee bit more so settling in. He's ready now. Just, you can tell the good players, they take their time over bunker shots. And they're in the zone. Concentration everywhere. Concentration. Sand everywhere, sand everywhere, can't believe it, never, oh dear me. Well, it's lying a lot better now, it oh, just, oh, he's gripping that like a, a burglar has disappeared out his back window, he's got, he's got it now, he's gripping it, well, it looks to be, well, it's lying a lot better now, yeah, great line out, but expect this to come out and go very, very close, this is going to go very, very close to the, it's, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, he's distraught, but will he be distraught or not, this is Connor Devlin, now Connor. Keep your eye on this for a great setup. Oh, look at that. This, I don't think it's golf's his first game. I don't think golf's his first game. Look at that work there. Look at that great casting. I don't think, I'm pretty certain golf's his first game. there. This is his game now. Look at that same technique. Same technique. Down you come. Oh, he's got the right fly on this time. Oh, he's a catch this fellow. No, oh, he's a 
the groove as well. Leave that catchy on there, but never mind. Let's get over to our host Scott Goldblatt today. Keep your eye on this fella, the boss of the boss. This is going to go, he's read it from both sides, read it. He's downhill, slightly downhill, break right to left. This is going to, he tells me he's getting, he's got his own personal putting coach, this fella. And, uh, well, I don't know who's giving him coaching, but he's, he told me he's paying a lot of money for a putting coach, and this is putting coach. <laughs> yes, and uh, well, careful, careful, though, he's up though, dear to me, well. I don't know, Scott, I think you can get your money back. And, uh, well, I'm definitely pretty sure you could. Well, anyway, that was for his, uh, his well, I don't get tell you over this. Let's have a look how Scott played this whole very straight off the tee. Not very long. Oh, but one of those ones up to the right in the trees for recovery. Oh, and he bounced sand. Well, it's a par four, but it's a par four. You've got to attack. And attack is what he did, ladies and gentlemen. With that, we're going to have to leave you. I bid you good night from T Video. Good night. Enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you very much, Gavin.